everybody! So it's been a while since my last video and I think it's because I've been keeping myself busy trying to catch up on all the sleep that I lost last year. But I don't think it's working because I'm still kind of tired, but I want to keep my energy levels up because remember your energy comes from right here, right? Okay, so I have a list of things that I want to talk about today. So the first thing I want to say is good morning because it is like 9 o'clock o'clock in the morning right now. Well, by the time I upload it, it's not going to be 9 o'clock anymore. But right now it's 9 o'clock. And um, it's really early for me today because today is my day off. It's Friday, and for our schedule, we get every other Friday off. And it's my Friday off, but I'm up really early. Actually, I was up even earlier because I had a 7 a.m. meeting with ADIA. And if you guys don't know, I'm a part of ADIA, which stands for American Dental Education Association. And the goal of our club is it's not a club it's more important than a club but i like club anyway so the point of our organization is to spread the love of teaching and if you guys haven't figured that out already i love teaching like either it's because i love talking and it happens to be teaching but either way i love education and i just love it because it i feel like it's so rewarding and if there's i just want to open it up okay because i know there's a bunch of D2s out there at my school, welcome back D2s, and incoming D1s, and I just want to open it up. If you are interested in education, in teaching, in TAing, in anything like that, get involved. I would be so excited for you to be involved. Like, all you gotta do, let me know, and then I'll set you up, and then, you know, then you do a little writing thing to tell me why you want to be, or tell us, um, why you want to be an idea, and you know what? Like, you can be a part of it. Like, I'm so excited because I want our club to grow. I want it to grow because we have few people, but they're very dedicated people. They're very excited about it. And I just, you know, we just want to spread it. So if you're involved, or if you want to be involved, let me know. Okay, so that's my plug for that. So anyway, so my life right now, summer of D3. Actually, I am officially now a D3, okay? so. Official school doesn't start until, or school year doesn't start until July 1st, so I was kind of like a floating D2 between D3. I think they're called like rising D3s. Um, and so now I'm an official D3. And so I'm so excited. But anyway, so I think I talked about it before, but um, so what our summer schedule is like, we have clinic, um, full-time clinic for a while and then we switch to part-time clinic because we have to study for boards. So right now I do Monday morning, Thursday morning, two sessions and then Wednesday and Thursday, Wednesday, Tuesday and Wednesday. Ah! Anyway, okay, so it's Monday and Thursday, two sessions in the morning and Tuesday and Wednesday, two sessions in the afternoon slash evening and then we get every other Friday off. So that's my schedule right now. And that's all I have to do. So I'm supposed to be studying for boards and doing all that stuff. And then starting next week, we're gonna have two weeks of board review classes to get us like really, you know, starting. Cause like, I think I looked at the countdown on my computer and I have less than 50 days before I take my boards. So I really have to like pick it up and study really hard because last year, I guess I'm going to brag, the the D4 the current D4 class when they took their boards got 100% pass rate. 100%. That's 250 almost people. 250 people passing all of them. And so like it's no pressure on our class or anything. But so we want to study really hard and I don't want to be that one person that fails. That would be really, oh, I would feel so bad. So I'm going to study really hard. And then, um, so yeah. Um, so I take my boards August 26th, and that's a Friday, and then I get to go on vacation after that because then we don't have clinic until, like, Labor Day. So I'm going to study really hard so that way I can, like, enjoy my vacation. So anyway, so that's my summer schedule right now. Nothing too exciting. Um, but, so yeah. Anyway, I want to take this time to welcome the new incoming D1s class of 2015, NYU class of 2015. Welcome. Um, I know it's going to be really, really, like, mixed emotions because you're going to come here and you're all excited, but you're scared and you're nervous and everything. And it's weird because I was there two years ago. And... It was two years ago, but 
I just I just want to welcome you guys hang on because it's gonna be really it's gonna be fun okay and I want to welcome AP students um, the new AP students the class 2014 welcome I've seen you guys around campus and a couple of you guys have recognized me which I think is really cool and so um, welcome you guys and D2s current D2s welcome back they just came from their one month of vacation so welcome back and it's gonna be a full school soon so I'm just really excited um, so what's in store for me as a D3 so we have clinic and we have class classes gonna are gonna start back up in September um, after boards and everything but uh, besides class and clinic I am a peer mentor again and so I did it last year what a peer mentor is, is for the D1s, the un incoming D1s, they get paired up with a, a upperclassman and they try to like show them the ropes and help them, advise them, you know, and stuff like that. So I'm doing it again because I thought I had a lot of fun last year. And so I'm doing it again. Um, and if you need advice and your peer mentor doesn't contact you, contact them. Um, email should be going out around August time, August-ish. And so if your peer mentor doesn't contact you, like, they should contact you. And so that's a lifeline you can use to, like, help you transition to school. I mean, it's scary. When I was here, like, when I started, I didn't know anybody, like, nobody at all. And so I was really scared. But so, yeah. And then also I am TAing. So for the D1 class, um... Let's talk about schedule real quick. So D1 schedule is from like 8 to 5 almost every day-ish. You have like anatomy and stuff like that I talked about in my old videos. But um, I think I just burp, but <laughs> sorry. Um, so D1, you have classes 8 to 5 almost every day, I think. I don't remember. It was a long time ago. My memory is really bad. Anyway, so a lot of people have asked me, hey, are there mandatory classes? Do you have to go to all classes? And the thing is, yes and no. There are mandatory classes that you're going to have to go to. There's no way around it. You're going to have to go. And then there are other classes where it's not mandatory, but I, I personally go to all classes. Because the way I learn is to go to classes, to see the professor, to see the lecturers talk, you know, get their hand movements or whatever see their gestures and then take my own notes like I can't learn off some, somebody else's notes I just can't so that's why I have to go myself <coughs> I have to go myself and I have to take my own notes and so I know some people they do well like looking off other people's notes and everything but that them so yeah so the good thing about our class is all of our lectures are podcasted so if you don't know what podcast is Anything that goes through the projector or through the microphone will get recorded and it's available on iTunes U for you to download. And so when you download it, you can watch it at home. And so even though I go to every single class, I go home and I re-watch lectures that I want to watch. So that way, um, I watch them in like double speed so it goes faster, but then I'm picking up on things that they emphasized in class or things that I missed in class because I zoned out for like a little while and dude it's normal okay zoning out is normal because it takes a lot of I guess endurance and concentration to concentrate that long and so that's a that's a really really good tool that we have for our classes um, as for lab D ones I don't know what the schedules like <coughs> uh. <coughs> oh my god I'm dying ah. I think it's because I'm talking too much, okay. So anyway, so D1, when I was at D1, I had lab for the first semester two times a week, and then for the second semester three times a week. And so in these D1 classes, there's TAs, like student TAs, upperclassmen TAs, coming around to help you, to like um, give you tips and advice, because everyone has their own instructor, but sometimes you need like a different perspective. So I actually, um, applied for it and I got it so I'm going to be TAing. I TA Thursday afternoons and so if you have uh, if you're an uh, incoming D1 and you have lab Thursday afternoons I'll be there if not then all the TAs are really really good so whoever you get um, there's I think six or seven TAs each session and so in, on top of the row instructor so it's gonna be a lot of fun and so I'm really excited about that I'm so excited. Oh, I get to talk more. <laughs> anyway, and so 
that's what's in store for me. And then, let's see. Yeah, and then D2 schedule. Um, I talked about it a lot, about how hard it was. But you know what? D2s hang on because it's going to be really fast. It's going to be hard, but it's going to be, you know, like, I look back and I made it through, you know. And so it's just, just, if you need help, ask for it early. Don't wait last minute. And I think that's, like, the, the entire thing. Manage your time and everything. So that's, that's, I think, about all I wanted to talk about, like, just oh I'm so excited and everything so if you guys have any questions let me know and um, all of the you know all of the questions I get are really cool I try really hard to write back to everyone who writes into me so if you have a question or a comment email me Twitter me something okay and I will make a video soon okay or at least I'll try okay bye thanks <laughs>